so much for joining us this evening for our special presentation of Bedroom Bliss. We're so excited you took time out of your evening to join us. We hope this is going to be really fun. We hope to keep it fun and light and also give you some great information. Uh, first thing I want to do is introduce our team. So first, myself, I'm Barbara Elliott. I am one of the owners and senior designer here at the Sisters and Co. And next we have Jennifer Ward Woods. Jennifer is also a senior designer and the other partner here. We have Keisha Moore. Keisha is also a, a designer here and she has been with us for several years, over 10 years. So she's a great designer and we love her here at Sisters & Co. Next, we have Shania Sinclair. And Shania is also one of our designers. She is a great asset to the team and she looks forward to working with you also. Next, we have some of our support staff. We have Ariel Chen. Ariel is our, one of our design assistants. She, we call her Miss Sunshine. Couldn't do without her. Next, we have Hope Christine. Hope Christine is also a design, uh, design um, assistant here and everything else that we need done. <laughs> Next, we have Rhonda Polanco. Hello, everyone. And Rhonda is, if you've called in, you've talked to Rhonda. Rhonda is our office manager, and she is point on phone. <laughs> Next, we have a few of our members who are not on the call with us, but we want to make sure you know about them. We have Sylvia McPherson, and Sylvia is our bookkeeper. And then we have Kevin, and Kevin handles our warehouse. So welcome everyone. <laughs> so this is our team. <laughs> so now I want to sort of give you a little layout of what we're going to be doing this evening. First, we're going to, um, we have a, a wonderful presentation, which we're going to be presenting to you. Doing the presentation, um, if you see things or have questions, please put those questions in the chat and we're gonna have ample time to answer those questions at the end of the presentation. We hope you love the presentation and we hope you learn a lot from it. So we're gonna start with the presentation. Um, hope you share the screen. So hopefully everyone can see it. And so, as we mentioned, this is Bedroom Bliss. Uh, designing a bedroom is both stylish and comfortable, but it can be a challenge. Uh, so at the end of this webinar, webinar, you can easily achieve this for your desired space. Uh, we will provide you expert tips that will help you in selecting the right furniture to bedding accessories or to create an inviting, tranquil bedroom. Um, so everything from color schemes to storage solutions, uh, we're here to help you. But in the end, if you still need our help, we are always here. So as we get started, we're going to start with our first tip. Okay, the first tip is plan ahead by choosing a color palette. If you want your bedroom to feel calm and serene, go with muted earth tones like cream, tan, and gray. Try rich jewel tones such as emerald green or sapphire blue for a bolder look that makes a statement.
The first space, space we're highlighting, this room has a good amount of space, but the layout was kind of awkward. We must maintain the view while still providing a space for this king size bed and sitting area. This client's home is on a lake, as you can see. So we wanted to make sure they still had a great view of the lake. We chose a warm color palette, which would allow our clients to have to bring the outside in. A beautiful emerald green and cobalt blue was chose for this space. As you can see on the back wall, we decided to do a collection of mirrors that reflect the room. And we placed the bed on the wall coming into the space so that as you're laying in the bed, you could easily look out to the beautiful lake. Slump the windows with beautiful jewel tone colors of blue on the window treatments and surrounded those color colors into the space on the pillows, ottomans, and chairs. The next side, you see a different angle of the room. The, the, the main view is where the bed is, which is on the biggest wall in the room as well. This allows us to accent this wall with the beautiful emma green to bring in our color palette of blue and green, again, reflecting the outdoors. As you can see here, we have the chairs in the blue, decorative accessories throughout the space in white and blue and green help to tie everything together, as well as the artwork above the chairs. Our next space is a representation of a room our client we had done for a client long time ago, as you can see, but they wanted to go into a space that was a little bit more serene. In order to cre cre create that calm and serene room, we chose a color palette of neutral. Neutral colors in gray and white and cream, that was really the focal point of this space in order to create that calm, serene feel. Again, when using neutrals, try to make sure that you use neutrals in such a way that patterns are introduced. That way it keep, creates an interest for the space as we did in this bed. Again, like I said in the beginning, when you have a space where you wanna create neutrals, you want to make sure you do something in the room that is a huge focal point. And we surely have it here in this bed. We also layered this room with mixed metals of silver and gold to create a little bit more interest and pop. And the patterns are moved around the room, even into the window treatments. And again, from another angle, you can see more textures textures in this fur that's on the chair, as well as a nice texture. Bold color that's pulled in the gold tones to pull the mixed metals and the artwork. Again, help to break up all of the neutral color palette, but still keeps that most of the space. And again, another detail shot to show you how the color palette and the neutrals create a calm and serene feel. In our next space, this is one of my favorite rooms we got to do last year. And this client wanted to create a very cozy, romantic, dark bedroom. And we surely fit the bill when we did this room. As you can see, the color palette is moody. And the moody comes from the dark black walls, the black leather headboard that flanks the wall, all of the beautiful mixtures of black and gray and gold really set off the stage for this moody space. The ceiling was done in a wallpaper, which sparkled with the lights when they were lit up. The walls to the right of the room, we created a custom built-in fireplace that created a different set of moves in the room and also had seating to the back of the room 
that created a very cozy environment. So when you're doing dark rooms, make sure that everything isn't dark. You want to play around with different shades to create the mood, but then also pop it with another color to create more interest. And again, like I've always said, layer with textures. Textures really help to give you a unique look. And as you can see here on the detail pictures is a representation of the accessories that was used throughout the space. Again, with mixed metals. Mixed metals is a great way to go. I love to do them in rooms. And this creates a little bit more interest when you're having a dark space. And the artwork ties in all the colors and the fireplace really becomes a bold statement in this room. Tip two, let's choose the right furniture pieces for the space. Choose the right furniture pieces for the space. Your bedroom should be furnished with the essentials like the bed, the dresser, the nightstand, but try to avoid clutter by not filling every available nook and cranny with the excess furniture. Instead, choose one standout piece of decor that would catch your eye each time you enter the room. As you can see in this room, we needed to do a lot for this really large bedroom. It was massive in scale and the furniture placement in this room wasn't quite being used properly. So we had a trick for it. Our client wanted to create a very nice hotel feel like she was in Vegas, which was one of her favorite places. And her favorite color was purple. So this is what we did. And to allow the furniture to be placed in the right place and to balance the space, we flipped it. We put the bedroom as you come into the room and the sitting area at the back of the space. This allowed for us to put the biggest furniture in the biggest area. Again, the balance and scale and using the right furniture pieces is very important. Because the room was so large, we layered the space with lots of furniture. Of course, we have the big upholstered bed. We have the bench at the foot of the bed. We also did in the sitting area, a sofa and a table with ottomans. On the other side of the room, opposite the bed, we took this opportunity to create a nice conversational area where we had this, the fireplace surrounded in the tile and the TV flanked above, as well as two chairs in front of that. So that in case she wanted to utilize this space to sit and read, or watch television, she has that area, she has the bedroom area and a total big sitting area. So again, in large spaces, make sure you use furniture that is big in scale so that it really, really fills the space properly. And I think we met the bill of putting all the pieces that was necessary for this beautiful, beautiful master bedroom suite. Our next space, we had another large master suite. This room also required the appropriate pieces of furniture. So what we decided to do, as you can see in the next slide, voila, we put the bed in the, in the front of the space, again, using a really, really nice pop of color, which we like to do. Um, we added this tufted bed and the velvet peacock color, lots of neutrals around this room as well. So we also created a conversational area and sitting space in their sitting area, along with the television and artwork. This room really, really allowed us to use every piece necessary for a master bedroom suite. Again, here you can see the conversational sitting area flanked with the beautiful peacock window treatments. And alongside the bed, we did two nightstands 
with pendants that hang on each side above them. Again, utilizing the bedroom space and creating a beautiful area that our clients absolutely love. Wow. The next space, again, was a space that we really wanted to create a big example of how you place furniture. And, and this before picture, you only see part of the room, but this is a very large room. Voila. Again, this was a suite done for one of our clients who wanted his bedroom to be a representation of him being in a nice swanky hotel on a trip. He actually loved the color red, so we add that color to gold and gray to create the color palette. The bed was placed on the big focal point wall with two nightstands, the window treatments flanched each side, and in the sitting area, we actually place the furniture. As you can see, we have this beautiful chase that we really wanted to show off the lines of it. So it was placed right in the center of the space so that our client, when laying on it, had a great view of the television. Of course, the dresser was on the other side of the room, opposite the bed, and another TV. So in this space, we really, really, really did do um, a job of putting all of the pieces he needed in this really large bedroom and beautiful lighting set off the entire space. So good evening, everyone. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us in this seminar. The next tip that we're gonna go over is adding pops of color throughout your room. Now, as we all know, the bedroom is one of your most personal spaces. It's one of the most intimate spaces, and it's an opportunity for you to really become creative and make this space your own because it is such a personal space. And one of the ways to achieve that would be to add pops of color throughout. Now, there's several ways that you can do this. And in the next few slides, we're going to go over those ways. And they're super simple. And um, really, it's personal and it should reflect what it is that you love. So in this space, there's so much opportunity to add color. We have, uh, of course, neutral walls, uh, furnishings, uh, even in the bedding. And so when we look at uh, the next slide, which is the actual result, you'll see that there's several places we pop color. And it's super simple, once again, go off of what it is that you love because design is a perspective. So as you can see, the pops of color are in the window treatments. It's also in the beautiful art and even in that bolster you see on the bedding. And so ideally, uh, everyone has a color tolerance. So maybe you want to pop in a uh, color on the wall or you just want, um, certain places wherever your eye lays. And for instance, if you have beautiful windows such as in this room, if you're gonna look at those spaces or that particular focal point, why not pop in a beautiful color just like in this particular room? And so ideally, as you can see, the window treatments, we just really broke it up into several or two fabrics, uh, as well as brought in a bit of spice with this beautiful uh, uh, chair. And I apologize, I'm gonna get a little hoarse. That's why I was drinking tea. Um, but popping in upholstery um, color is just a fun way to spice up the space and make it your own. And in popping um, color, it really 
personalizes the space and it tells your personal story and, and, and all. So once again, as you look at this empty room, there is so much opportunity to pop in color and make it a space that you can enjoy and want to come home after a long day of working into this space. So as you can see in the next slide, there was a bit of pizzazz with the wallpaper. Um, and this beautiful color, this turquoise teal color, uh, made this space just come to life. Now, of course, if, if, if popping in color in the wallpaper uh, is a bit much, then there's a way to even scale that back. But ideally, you can see that there's a lot of balance, there's a lot of movement, but the space does have that mood of calmness, of serene, of this is my sanctuary and I feel absolutely um, wonderful in this space. I want to relax, I want to unwind, I want to decompress. And so once again, keeping the rest of the walls nice and neutral uh, balances the large motif that you see in that gorgeous wallpaper. And we're talking, you know, accenting with accessories and even popping in pillows with this intense color, which if you overuse it, it may not have this feel of the serenity that we all want to achieve in our personal spaces. So you can add the color in with your accessories, uh, as you can see, the pillows popped in the color, and once again, that beautiful wallpaper. So in this room, even though we do have pops of color, it may come off a bit dated. Um, even though you want to achieve a design that's more classic and more uh, timeless. And in doing that, that's where you find the nice balance of popping in maybe your favorite color or a color that conveys the feeling that you want. So you can see in this room, even though we have layered several shades of blue, it's still a very calm room. It's still a very um, beautiful room, but it gives you that feeling of interest. It gives you that feeling of, hey, I'm home away from home. I mean, this is a guest suite. So it's one of those rooms where maybe your guests don't want to go home because there's so many different elements that once you lay your eyes on these different um, design points, like that beautiful upholstered bed popped in the color um, of rich blue. So if you want to go a little over the top, uh, don't be afraid to pop it in into a beautiful upholstered bed. That is a fun way and a creative way to really liven that space. Um, you know, the window treatments as well have uh, pops of both of the shades of that um, color palette. And of course your art, which serves as your accessories, even your lighting. Um, there is so many opportunities and there's no right or wrong way. Uh, it's a very personal thing, uh, but if, once again, you feel that, hey, I don't want to pop color everywhere. You just have to play around and see what feels right for you. But we definitely get a really good um, balance of energy as well as uh, serenity and relaxation in this space. And then look at that bedside chest. Once again, that is another way, and it doesn't even have to be intense color. That's one of the lighter shades of blue that's in this room. So you can play around with, once again, what feels right. But accessories, the upholstery, the window treatments, even the walls are opportunities to infuse this space with your personality. Now, there's the other side of the coin. If you feel that popping in color may be a bit overwhelming, the thing is, is that you can keep the bedroom design super simple. And there are several ways that you can achieve this, and you'll see this in the next few slides. 
So in this space, once again, there's always opportunity, whether it's in the furnishings, whether it's in the bedding, even in the largest piece of architecture, which is the wall and the ceilings, that is an opportunity to create the space and transform your space into something that is, once again, your refuge from the chaotic world that we're in, right? So in this space, though we talked about popping color, we don't necessarily have a lot in this space, but there's so many ways to keep things super simple and it's using cleaner lines. Uh, maybe you have a more traditional bedroom and you want to um, minimalize a lot of the movement, which in traditional furnishings, you have a lot of um, articulation, you have gilding, but as you can see in this space, most of the pieces are clean line, which gives you that illusion and that feel of spaciousness and simplicity. Um, of course, having a very neutral color palette, maybe tone on tone or several lighter tones uh, is a way to keep things a bit more minimal. Because of course, if you're going more bold, uh, you have to worry about shades of colors and the different tints of colors. And do you want to use a green gray or do you want to use a blue gray? Those kind of things. But if you keep it really uh, neutral, the only thing that you would really be concerned with is, is, of course, the silhouette of your furnishings, as well as the texture and the mixture of materials that you put in that space. But this is, of course, kind of a more um, simplistic approach to transforming your space. And in this particular room, as you can see, the gorgeous Atlanta um, skyline, this is the focal point. So putting in something that is a bit, um, well, ideally you don't want to compromise and overshadow this skyline. This is what this person purchase the condo for the view. So the design has to accompany, it has to complement. And by doing that, keeping things really simple, we only have a color palette of black and white and pops of gray. Once again, a really clean and neutral color palette that makes and frames that beautiful view. Um, so using geometric shapes, once again, clean lines, um, very uh, subtle color palettes, as well as minimal furniture. So even this space, you know, condos in the city are, are smaller than what we may be used to outside of the perimeter. So the selection of your furnishings is very key. You don't want to overcrowd a room. Um, and then once again, if you're using clean lines, you can minimize or you can maximize your movement space. And you see the texture. So texture really is huge in these types of color palettes. So we have the texture in the lamps, you know, bring in texture in your accessories, bring in texture in your bedding, which is of course the main focal point um, or one of the main focal points in a bedroom. And then even though this room, we're going from bold, uh, we, we, we want to simplify this particular space. And so we went from bold and now we're gonna go to more of a simple and more elegant uh, type of space. And as you can see, uh, this particular room has a bit more color than the other uh, two rooms that was referenced, but we chose to do the bedding, which once again, it's, the bed, it, which is the largest piece of furniture that's in the room. And we played around with different textures. Once again, you have texture that's in the, the window treatments. You have like, look at those, those lamps. Those lamps have beautiful texture, has beautiful movement. So everything is harmonious and it, it reads really well with the main focal point, which is this gorgeous custom bedding. So don't be afraid to play around once again with what you may think you like or don't like, uh, but there's just so many opportunities 
even in your case pieces, this media chest, it has not only the geometric shapes and the clean shapes that I referenced prior, but it also has a different tone, not too dark, but it, it's, it's tonal. Uh, and then mixing that with, you know, metals and then looking at our window treatment hardware, we have a French return, which you wouldn't ideally equate with this type of bedroom, but it still works in creating a wow factor and creating personalization in the space. And so it's all in the details when you go minimal. Hello everyone, I'm Chanya again. So we are gonna talk, uh, this tip, we're gonna talk about lighting. Lighting can definitely change a, the mood in the room. It's definitely needed. Um, a lot of times we have our natural lighting in the room, but we definitely need other layers of lighting that will maximize the space. Um, and when it comes to lighting, we have different types of lighting. We have um, ambient lighting, which is like your main source of lighting, your ceiling lights. We have task lighting, which provides uh, or helps with specific type of lighting, as well as your accent lighting um, in a space as well. And we'll see some of these different layers of lighting in the next slides. So here in this first slide, we have a huge room. We love blank canvases. It allows us to do so much in a space. Um, as you can see, we have this huge room, high ceilings, beautiful architectural detail, but we only have this one window, which is our main source of lighting. So it's very imperative that we definitely um, use this room and produce as much lighting in this room and just make it um, you know, something the client really enjoys. So as you see, we definitely uh, have brought this room to life. You see the different textures in this room. We have wallpaper, we have the paint, the architectural detail, the lighting in this room really draws your eye up to the ceiling. This two tiered beautiful chandelier has all the bling that this little girl wanted in her room. Yes, this is a child's room. Um, it looks like an adult's room, but she was, it was a child, it was, for princess in this home, um, absolutely stunning. Um, so you can really see how the color palette in this in this space really connects. She definitely wanted some pink in here. Um, and also in these other slides, you will see another layer of lighting, which are the, the lamps. Um, we added some lamps for some more, you know, um, task lighting um, by the bed when she just needed to pop the light on, didn't need to do the ceiling light. But we have this soft palette in here with creams and pinks in this space, it really, really just draws your eye to it and makes it such a cozy and nice, elegant room. And when working with these spaces, um, you know, we definitely, we talk about scale a lot because it's very important. Um, with this room, we needed a higher bed. We needed things that were really gonna make it dramatic and make it fill up that space. And that's what we did and accomplished in this space. Okay, so here, this client, um, she wanted to, she wanted to redo the room. She wanted more of a swanky hotel feel, um, very luxurious feel in this space. She has a few windows in here. So she serves, you know, she has a lot of, um, lighting in this space. Um, but we also have some tray ceilings in this space. So we wanted to turn this into a really luxury hotel feel for this client. Here's the after very luxurious looking. We have soft palettes of golds and creams, patterns throughout the space. Uh, we pop some color in this in the ceiling, which also ignites this uh, chandelier that we hung in the space as well. Again, this is another huge room. So we definitely want to make sure that we accompany the space with the appropriate furniture that's needed to be in the space. And just take a look at those lamps. 
those are some huge lamps. Um, a lot of times clients will get lamps that are too small for the space or just even furniture items, period, that are just too small. Um, but really maximizing the height of the lamps really does a lot in the space. Um, it sets the tone. It really just makes the room stand out out a lot and that's another set of layered lighting in the space as well you can see the gold linking to the gold um, on the bed as well um, the space was just really really nice and the client really loved it it gave that swanky feel that she wanted and over here we just connected all the elements in the space we mixed the metals as well again um, the gold and silvers here, we have some glass as well, but we have the neutral palette still connecting the wallpaper. You see it, you see the, the gold window treatments with the Greek key. Um, we definitely pay attention to the details in the room as well. And the acrylic pools on the dresser, absolutely stunning. Here is a bachelor pad that we did for a client. Um, he just wanted something very simple, but something that was statement, um, statement like. So we definitely gave him that. You can see he has um, a few recess lighting in here, but not a lot of lighting. And oh my goodness, look how sexy this room is. This is for a bachelor. That wallpaper is absolutely stunning on the back wall. It just, it, it's absolutely stunning. So previously this wall was just a flat wall in the back. We did a little build out, added some cove lighting in the back, dropped some pendants, some sexy pendants over his nightstand. Um, his bed was changed, but everything else remained the same in the space. Sometimes you need a lot of furniture, but this room really, you only needed what was in there and it did a lot for what was in there. You see the textures in the pillows, um, how the colors connect, the moodiness. It's such a um, this is definitely a blissful bedroom um, that I'm sure he would love to accompany his significant other in. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and then you can see as well, there's another layered lighting on the uh, dresser here with the lamp, uh, I'm sorry, with the candles. So we're able to do that as well and just really connect the colors in this space. You have the artwork as well to just connect. That, that wallpaper, I'm sorry, it's just absolutely stunning. So tip six is, you know, you can always also decorate your walls in your with with artwork and photography. Um, that does add statement. It elevates the room just as well as you can see right here on this slide. We have artwork above the bed as well as wallpaper that has uh, a lot of the colors that we use um, in the color palette, and it was just a beautiful um, mural here. I'm sorry, it was a mural. Absolutely stunning. So in this space here, um, again, almost pretty much a blank um, canvas here. Um, we do have some tray ceiling. So when we're doing a room, adding wallpaper, adding paint, adding artwork, definitely um, adds character to the room, also connects the room when it comes to the colors and everything else in the room. Here's the after, you see this gorgeous Greek key wallpaper on the back wall behind this beautiful bed. Um, that's really one way you can really ignite your space. Um, you can do something that's bold or something that's simple. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but in one of uh, Keisha's last slides with her bedroom, the simple bedroom, there was wallpaper on that back, but it was very subtle and it was very pretty, um, you know, and very soft. So it doesn't have to be bold all the time. Um, but in this space, connecting um, the wallpaper in here, that's your focal point. So when people enter that room, they definitely want to, you know, be wild and see something that's going to really stand out. And art, I'm sorry, wallpaper can definitely do that. And in this room, we have soft palettes of grays and blues. We just wanted to connect that um, and keep that running throughout the space. Here's a closer shot of the wallpaper here. And you can just really see how beautiful the lighting and the nightstand, how everything really just balances off, the detailing and patterns in the um, bedding as well. Wallpaper is everything, Aria. And in this shot as well, you can see another detail shot, just connecting um, 
the, the color palettes as well, the window treatments. Uh, we have color blocking in the window treatments and some banding running across with the silver in it, connecting it, it, it just really, um, connecting everything really is huge when it comes to design because it can really throw a space off if things do not connect well. And in front of the bed, here are some other uh, pieces that we use, which were um, artwork we hung um, that you know had shades of blue. We also had artwork that was on top of the dresser. It doesn't always have to be hung. It can be placed on top of a dresser just for an accent piece as well. Um, but typically you want to make sure that you can cover your wall space in your room because otherwise it will look naked. Okay, so in this space, um, this was a huge, awkward, long room that we did for a, a teenage girl. Um, you can see she only has one, one window, which is her only source of lighting on that side of the room. And then there's another one on the other side, but we wanted to make this room complete for this child. Um, and I'll just show you what it looked like when we added the elements to the wall when it comes to art and um, wallpaper and everything else that you can add to really heighten the room. So here is the after, absolutely stunning. Um, you see the the bed, the detailing of the bed is gorgeous, the bedding, um, the window treatments, how all the all the all the fabric um, selections connect. But let's check out this uh, sloped ceiling here. On one side, we did um, and this is paint. We did paint and we did architect uh, abstract um, abstract design on this back wall to serve as a focal point. In here, we didn't really know what to do with these slopes, but we came up with this idea because it just seemed more feasible, more um, eye grabbing and catching. And here, I know we're not talking about lighting, but these this light fixture is absolutely gorgeous. The moodiness of this light fixture as well. And here is another angle. So you can see in here, we also have layered lighting with the um, light fixture at the top. We have the lamps on the nightstands as well. Uh, the texture in those nightstands, absolutely gorgeous. The gold bottoms. And across, you can see the other artwork that we have, one of our favorite pieces. She's just absolutely stunning, but it had all those colors in it. You, you know, it's just, and one of the things, if you're looking at it, that wall is so big. You need something that's going to be big in scale. Um, we talk about that a lot because it's it is very important, but this detail shot absolutely stunning. You see the per the pink, the blue. Um, we also popped some pink in the back as well, and just accessorized this space. But it came out really, really lovely. Right, and here we're focusing on uh, this three D artwork again. This is another element. Um, it doesn't always have to be wallpaper. It can be wallpaper, paint. Um, artwork or you know another element wood paneling or anything else that can really um, heighten a room okay <clears throat> excuse me so in this space <coughs> ooh, excuse me in this space um this client just wanted um a fresher look uh she wanted it to be more um calm and just more you know of their own in this space We also have some tray ceilings here, but what we did in the back of this bed here, we added some wood paneling. Um, we have this this gray on the wall. We kept the the bed um, the bedding and the furniture. You know, those are those colors are brown. But we added a pop of color in the accent in the chase as well as the bedding and in the ceiling. Um, but that wall paneling is absolutely stunning. Again, if you want to elevate your space, you can definitely do something like this behind your bed. It doesn't, you know, it could be any type of design. It's just really gonna elevate the space um, as well as, it doesn't always have to be artwork hung over a bed. It could be, you know, as you see here, the wood paneling, um, wallpaper, but this really elevated the space. And you can see how the shapes in the back of the wall also kind of connect with the Greek key on the, the bedding um, there in the euros. Again, you see those lamps, they're high as can be because we definitely need those scaled properly. And this is another shot. 
We use a lot of big accessories because we rather use big than small. Um, but what we did is just make sure that everything connected on the other side still had the, the soft color palettes and the blues um, on the other side as well. So next we have step seven. And with step seven, I tell you, don't be afraid of patterns. Patterns is what add interest to a space, is what elevates a space and makes it pull together. The trick to patterns is just knowing how to mix them, how to mix the colors, how to mix the scale and the proportion. And that's what we're gonna talk about in the next few slides. In this before, you can see this is a fairly nice sized bedroom that I'm sure everyone would love to have. Um, the client, when we started with this room, it was pretty bland and the bed was on what I consider not to be the right side of the room. We already talked about, Jennifer talked about the right furniture. And so having the right furniture also means having that furniture proportionately scaled to fit a space. So now you can see this bedroom. So what I wanna discuss is the patterns first in this space. Look at the wallpaper. The wallpaper has a beautiful bold pattern with blue and gray, silvery gray lines in it. And then if you look further into the room, you will see that there's pattern also on all the bed pillows. There's pattern even on the front of the nightstands. In the pillows, you will see the different patterns that we use. First, you will see on the Euro patterns, there is sort of a geometric pattern in the navy blue, that's more of a tone on tone. And then as we move into the pillows in front of the blue, there is a shimmery silver fabric that is used. And then when we move into the pillow shams, you will see that it has an embroidered design, which is a bolder design. And you can see how this design sort of mimics slightly the wallpaper. And then when you move into the last pillow, you'll see the beautiful asset wash look of that pillow. But all of these pillows work together and they work in a portion of scale. So that's one of the things we talk about is that if you have a smaller scale, like what we have in the back, then you can go to a bolder scale like the pillow in the front. Now you can even see more pattern in this room. Now we have this beautiful rug. Area rugs is really difficult to decide on sometimes. So sometimes it's best to pick the rug first or sometimes we pick it last. It just depends on what we're trying to achieve in the room. But it's very important to pick out most of the patterns first and then decide on the rug because you don't want it to overpower. And as you can see with this rug, it ties in perfectly with the color palette, but with the movement of it, it does not compete with the walls. And also we now have pillows that are added to this day bed at the end of the bed, which is perfect. Again, it brings in our beautiful navy with accents of gray. And then moving on up to this bold picture that's on the wall, again, artwork also has pattern. So you have to consider that as well. And then moving over to the small accent chair and in the chair sits another pillow that is like a little furry pillow, which adds some texture without competing. The window treatments were done from a silk that is a solid but again, it has texture. But then we added this decorative trim to separate the two tones in the wallpaper. And that trim has just enough pattern in it to set it off, but not enough to compete with the rest of the items in the room. Now look at this handsome room. It had a nice start, but we're gonna make it a little bit better. Wow, look at this room. Look at that bowl rug. That is gorgeous. That 
is something that had to be selected first because now we have to scale the rest of the patterns to coordinate with that. We use the customer's existing bed that she wanted to tie in. The bed had more moody, darker colors, but we wanted to pop with some color. So that's how we bought in the goals and just a hint of green, which is a color that she loves. But look at the pattern in the pillows and also in the nightstands, the hand carving on those nightstands is simply gorgeous but it has to tie in with the rest of the room. Here you can see a detail of it, and you also can see the pattern on the bed. First of all, we have a quilted pattern on the comforter itself and the shams. And then you notice the pattern that is in the shams in front of that pattern. It has sort of a chevron look to it, but it doesn't compete with the quilt. And then we tied it in with a solid velvet in the green. Again, we use beautiful silk draperies, two layers, one in gold, and then also in the lighter cream. And then the cream is also folded at the end of the bed, again, adding layer and texture. Now you can see even more pattern as we look into the sitting area. If you look at that back wall, look at that beautiful wallpaper. It has a damaged design, totally different from what we see in the rest of the space but it still works with the rest of the space. We also see where those drapery panels have been added to separate the space and give it a little coziness. This is not a window, but it looks so perfectly there. We're not really talking about window treatments right now, but I just wanted to bring that up because also you can see on how we've added to the reverse side of these window treatments. So when you're on the other side, you're not looking at the lining, you're actually looking at another fabric the same fabric as in the rest of the window treatments. Again, there's some more texture that's on this chair and also in the artwork in the sitting area. In this space, which is a beautiful room, but the client wanted more, more pizzazz. She wanted it to feel more alive. Voila, here we have it. This room is stunning with those pops of color, but pay attention to the window treatments. In this space, we chose to use a bowl pattern for the windows. This fabric was actually chosen first in our design. After we decided on the color palette, we went with this fabric. And from there, we coordinated the rest of the items in this space. We started with making sure that all of the bedding went well with this bow fabric. So here you see the detail on the bedding, which was kept very clean, but it was popped with this bolster. Look at the beautiful pattern on this bolster. It really ties in with the rest of the space. And not only do we have pattern and pop with the fabrics, we even have it with the accessories. Look at the boxes on the nightstand. You see how the detail in the nail heads tie in with the rest of the design? And then also the ribbon on the bed around the upholstered headboard, they all work together. And then the throw in the purple, but it has lines, it has vertical lines in it. So it still has another depth. Pattern helps to add depth to a space. Instead of it being flat, it is now elevated. And wow, we're not talking about lighting right now, but take a look at that chandelier that really pops in this space. Another view of those gorgeous window treatments. And now you can also see in the little chair that is out of a textured fabric. Again, we have a beautiful pillow accent in that little corner. Again, bringing in another pattern. The last tip we're gonna talk about tonight is tip eight, which is one of the things to make your bedroom more special is that you want to add personal touches to that bedroom design. Those touches can be in the forms of things that mean a lot to you. They can be mementos, they can be uh, photos, they can be 
books that you like to read, and of course, fresh flowers, or in case you don't want to replenish, silk ones can always work. But anything that adds interest to that bedroom and it makes it feel like this is mine. Here you'll see in this bedroom, which we talked about a little earlier tonight as far as the color and the wallpaper, but I wanna draw your attention to the nightstand. Again, we have a favorite photo of our clients that is there. Again, something that adds personal touch along with those beautiful flowers. Another personal touch could be a plant in the room. Some people love to have living plants in their space. And they're always a great addition to a space. And also the sculpture that you see on the dresser that is a personal item that someone uh, was able to acquire while on vacation. And it's a great addition to this space. Once again, adding things like boxes. I love to add boxes to nightstands. Uh, it's a great way of putting things in that you want to keep close, but you want to have them in a safe place. And then accenting that with a beautiful photo of the guest bedroom for uh, this client and her parents live, come and stay. And so she put a picture of her parents on that nightstand. So when they come, they feel just at home. Once again, adding books. Again, these books on this nightstand add a very personal touch along with a candle. It's just a nice way to wind down, but also speaks to the people that live in the space. Once again, some more beautiful um, flowers uh, that are displayed on this nightstand. Gorgeous against the wallpaper, again, Pay attention to that wallpaper that's in the back of the space, what we talked about earlier. And the lighting, you see the scale of it. You see how the light is tall enough that it goes to the top of the headboard so that when, the, when you turn the light on, the light will shine down onto the bed. So if you're reading, the light will hit the right spot. If it was a shorter lamp, then the light would be too low and you would not be able to read in bed with this lamp. Again, some more beautiful personal accessories added to the dresser, books again, candles, and a plant. A lot of the variations that we spoke about already. So at this point, Ariel is gonna to talk to you with questions that have been put in the chat room. Hey everyone, I hope everybody's having a great evening. Thank you so much for joining us on Bedroom Bliss. I hope you guys uh, took away some great tips the ladies have shared with you tonight. Um, I see that in the chat, Rhonda and Yulia has chimed in and you guys love the color palettes you saw throughout the presentation. You guys enjoyed the beautiful bold colors. Wallpaper was a highlight tonight. We had some great lighting tips and that's my baby boy in the background. So um, he's just making himself known that he's here. Um, apart from that, we Thank you again so much for joining us. And uh, if you guys can connect with us on our social media platforms, um, feel free to do so. And if you guys have any questions, I see then you, you can go ahead and unmute or um, go ahead and um, type them in in the chat box. Feel free to ask away. The ladies are all here to answer your wonderful questions. I know you guys have some good ones.
If not, you guys can always email us. You can give us a call at our studio um, if you guys uh, want to move forward with um, getting a consultation um, with one of our um, expert designers. And we also went ahead and dropped a link in our chat box that you guys can click on um, that will send you guys directly to our website where you guys can connect with us and um, you can um, drop your information on the website. So uh, our office manager, Rhonda, can reach um, out to you. You guys can touch base and we would love if you guys um, move forward with working with us and getting one of your bedroom designs. Okay, so I see a question. Thank you, Sonia Foster. Will we have access to this recording? I believe so. We can definitely um, uh, work out where we can share the recording and you guys can go back and take a look at the beautiful rooms and listen in on some tips so that you can um, work them out on your own at home. You're welcome. <laughs> so do you guys have much experience for teen boy rooms, especially with anime? Oh, that is a wonderful question. Um, we actually did a home with nine bedrooms and uh, it had more than nine bedrooms, but um, more than nine rooms in the home but specifically nine bedrooms. And those nine rooms were catered to children rooms. So experience with actual teen boys, there was two boys in that um, uh, overall room. And one was a game room that we did and one was a little bit older. So we have a great experience with um, catering the design to the teen. And if his jam is anime, we'll definitely take that into consideration and make it work for him. Of course, you're welcome, Shalandra. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I know life gets busy and you guys took time out of your busy schedules to chime in and get all this good jazz that we dropped um, here in the Bedroom Bliss webinar. Okay, we would like to thank everyone uh, for coming out tonight and sharing this with us. As um, Ariel mentioned, you can contact us at our studio. Uh, phone number, which was listed. You can also contact us on the website. Uh, you can go into the contact me form. And we have a special um, offer for anyone who's ready to start their bedroom design. We are offering tonight $500 off uh, your design. So that can go a long way towards your new bedroom. Uh, all you have to do is when you call in to schedule the meeting, uh, make sure you mention this webinar and we will make sure your file is notated and we will have you in. So mention hashtag bedroom bliss and you will get your $500 off. So if we don't have any other questions or if there's not anything else, like I said, thank you for joining us and good night. Good night.